Hi everyone, Cheeky Tam here and Tim. Hello all. Today, thanks to Uncle Brian, we're going to be doing another UK taste test. Weird. It looks like it's been wrapped by somebody else. It's got a tag on it. Oh yeah. Oh, Royal Mail. Okay, oh. I see what's happened here. It's been an explosion. I can see a chip, a crisp, right down the bottom there and they've put it in this bag to contain it. Take this bag off. Why do I want to keep that tag? I'll get it out for you. Thank you. I don't know why. I just want to keep it. It says Royal Mail and for me it just feels special. <laughs> Everyone's going, everyone gets one of those tabs. Not necessarily, but did you get a free bag and a tag? I can't get it off. That's alright. Right. No, I don't want to keep that. <laughs> I'm being silly. That's silly. Hello convicts, hope you are both okay. <laughs> Here are some more treats for you to try. The Blissful Biscuits are a different flavour from the ones you had last time. Enjoy, Brian. Oh, Pommy, you said. I just automatically read We're Brian. doing okay, Brian, better than your box did. Your box is just hanging in there. Oh, that's just busted. Sensations, poppadoms, lime, coriander and chutney. chutney. Coriander and, chutney. But they're busted up, so we won't be trying those today. And Brian has generously also sent us some chicken and leek mm. baked things. Do you remember making yeah. that? That's yeah, quite nice. So that's good. That's a couple of meals for Timmy to make for me one night. How nice. So let's do a UK taste test. First up, we're going to try two cakes, and these ones are from McBitty. Jamaican ginger sticky pudding cake. And a Lyle's golden syrup sticky pudding cake. Ooh. These are quite yeah. heavy, and it says, try me with custard, this one. Oh, goodness. Same here. They a little bit squashed in the mail. A bit warm or cold. We'll try it cold. All right, so how are we going to do this? This is, I would suspect. I'm just going to rip it. It's a really squashed up cake in here. How am I going to show everyone this fella? I'll take the whole thing out and show them. You ready? I'm sure they don't usually look like this, but it's very, very squashed. It's a sticky pudding. Is it paper? I don't want to accidentally eat paper. It looks like it is. Oh, oh yeah, there's paper on it. It's like it's in a big cupcake. Seeing that we're convicts, we yes. just use our fingers. All right. I like that. It's nice. Yeah. It would be nice with custard. The ginger's quite mild in it. Mm. I need a little bit more. I think it would have been nice if you cut me a piece, but that's okay. <laughs> Barbarians use your hands. I know. How weird is that? I like the flavour of it. It's just got a touch of ginger in it. Mm. Oh, it's very sweet and it's a very soft cake. You know what it reminds me of? Honey jumble biscuits. You know the ones that yeah. Arnott's make? And you got that white icing. Or I really icing. like this. Nice flavour. Got a little bit of spice in there. I reckon if you warmed it up a bit, put mm. a bit of custard with it, mm -hmm. and a little bit of ice cream. Yeah. Oh, really nice. Lyle's golden syrup, and it's a sticky pudding cake as well. Want to use scissors? No one will ruin the packet. Again, it's presented in a little paper cup, flattened by Australia Post or Royal Mail. That bit's mine, I reckon. Grab a piece. Yeah. Oh, goodness. See ya. Some in my pocket for later. What do you think of this one? I need another piece to try. It. Why are we not cutting it? I don't know. I can taste the golden syrup in it. Mm, I can too. I like the ginger. Uh, oh my god! <laughs> That's how you eat a cake. Mm. See, I think in the UK they call a lot of cakes dessert stuff. They just call them puddings. Would you like some pudding after your tea? Mm -hmm. Are you not buying this? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No, I think it is more like a pudding though. It is something you would have as a dessert or something after a meal. Lovely and sweet. Love both of these. I think I like the ginger one slightly better because I like things with the ginger tang in it. Yeah, mm. I like this better. Oh, good. I did like the ginger, but later on I felt the bite of the ginger mm. almost. I love on that. My throat, and I thought oh, I'm getting a bit too much ginger here. Yeah, very nice. Clean up on aisle two. It's the crumbs <laughs> I just rescued from the table. Can you put those in your pocket. No. <laughs> Yum. Walker's Max and it's crispy chicken. Crisps. I can't get crisps out because I call them chips. We try to adapt to what taste test we're doing. We try to say crisp, but sometimes chips will just fly out. Is what they look like? Yep. Mmm. -hmm. You don't normally eat chicken chips. No, but when I do, I love them. <laughs> Nice, aren't they? Mm. Lovely, salty, savoury, chickeny taste to them. Mm. Oh, not so much chicken, but like sort of salt stuff that would go with chicken. Yeah, it sort of tastes like a roast chicken to me. Mm. Like you go to the rotisserie barbecue chicken shop and you get that taste of that skin mm. when mm. they rotisserie. Mm. That's mm. what it tastes like. Did you know that chicken chips used to be my favourite when I was a kid? No, so why don't have... you buy them? Well, well, because I was a kid then and my <laughs> tastes have changed. Okay. They sold little bags and they were called roast chicken and they were my go-to chips. Smith's okay. roast chicken. Yum. But what about yeah, these ones? This Teddy? takes me back to that time. 
What Should about we try it? Then? You can, I won't. This one's popped in the post. Walker sensation. Popper Doms. Mm. That's why it's popped. Lime coriander chutney. They smell really nice. Mm. What a smell. Oh, it does. Well, let's have a look at what they look like. They look yeah. quite tasty. Well, you try those, mm. and if it's fresh. Mm. Okay, is that actually stale? Mm. Are you, you're going to lie to me here, aren't you? What are they like? Are they nice? Mm. Are they stale? You get the lime. Yes. Do you get the stale? I'm not tasting stale, no. I'm tasting the flavours. Are they fresh-ish? Have a go. I You're hate this, silk. I hate this. I'm not being a silk. You're having more, so you're taking them away from me too, so I don't I'm trying know. to pick up the coriander chutney. Is it there? All I'm getting is lime. I'm getting coriander, but I don't know what coriander chutney. Why don't they just say lime and coriander? Because coriander <laughs> chutney sounds better. Have a taste, don't be a silk. Drama I'm queen being, here. I'm not being a silk, it's just... Okay, they're not fresh. I, I can't in there. Oh! <laughs> How much bacteria is growing. Thanks. I can taste the coriander chutney in this, very much so. And then the lime comes in. I actually quite like that flavour. Yeah, it's nice. Stay alive. It's nice, but don't try this at home unless you're a convict because your tummy wouldn't handle it. We eat sticks and dirt and rocks over yeah. here, so. Let's make three soups and try them all. Oh, yeah. Three amazing soup flavours here. We've got Ainsley Harriet's East Indian Mulligan. Oh, no, no, I picked a hard one. You said that one. Mulligan. Morning. Broccoli and Stilton cup of soup. Mm -hmm. Stilton soccer cheese. And we've also got Scottish style chicken and leek cup of soup. Which one of these appeals to you the most? This one. East Indian Malagatoni cup of soup. Try one of each. Oh no! This one's busted up. No. Yeah. Yeah, they've been into it. Yeah, they've been Customs into it. Customs have been into oh that one. Oh my gosh. All right, that one's gone. Gone. I wonder why that packet was open. Yeah. I reckon they've opened it to check out what this is in here in yeah. case it was something sinister. Now we can't have one of our soups. Thank you. But it's Whoever probably something to do with that convict comment. Yeah, I know. Go on, Brian. <laughs> <laughs> well played. I'm going to do the broccoli one in this cup. Oh, it's very, very green. It smells nice. That's what it looks like. This one smells cheesy. Oh, it's green. Yes, it's like the Incredible Hulk. Oh no, I've got a blob. Oh no. <laughs> really quite thick for a cup of soup. Look at that. Yeah, I think it needs more watering because these aren't very big cups. Maybe it's supposed to make a mug. I think mine's going well, actually. I think mine's done. I'm going to make the chicken and leek one, the Scottish style one. Is yours as thick as mine? Yeah, mine's really thick. Maybe we should have bigger cups. Was it safe? Only 200 mils. Maybe it's supposed to be thick. And hearty. Hearty. You wait till you smell that broccoli and cheese one. You're really going to want it big time. Well, my malagatoni one yes. comes with carrot, tomato, and curry spices. This one has carrots in it. Oh no, maybe it's not. It's got... Is that the chicken and leek? Yeah. It's got garlic, parsley, and ground black pepper. Is it garlic? What is the other one? The broccoli one? Broccoli and Stilton. Okay, and that has garlic and ground pepper. Well, what are those chunky bits there? I see, I would have thought that was a carrot in there. Can you see that? I can't get it now. No, no, I'll never, no, yeah. Probably you see just it? haven't mixed it properly. See, what are those bits going in there? What is that? Carrot. Are you telling me there were no carrots? It doesn't say carrots here. It's garlic, parsley, oh. and ground black pepper. But that's a carrot. Definitely has carrots, because it's got carrots on the picture. I wonder why they chose that other one to test and not one of these. I don't know, it looked more suspicious. And that'd have to be customs in the UK, wouldn't it? In Australia, they're more sneaky. They just put a little tiny sliver <laughs> and a bit of sticky tape here. They just hack the top off and don't even bother putting it on properly. Look at this, it's leaked everywhere. Thanks, Royal Mail. Don't, they'll come to get you. Oh, let them. <laughs> let them. I'm going to try the broccoli and Stilton one first. Oh. Oh, it's very cheesy, very cheesy indeed. Does it taste like broccoli? It does, but I can predominantly taste cheese. I haven't ever had like a cheesy cup of soup. It's not bad, but um, I don't know if I'd get it again. I, mm. I don't like the consistency on this one. It's like drinking gravy. Seriously, look. Wow. All right, I'm gonna try the chicken one. I think the chicken's my favourite so far. Mm. Oh yeah, it's very cheesy, isn't mm. it? You do taste the broccoli though. I don't mind a chicken cup of soup. It's very green. What's the green from in the chicken again? Parsley. Really? All right, Brown I'm going to try this one. Good luck. Do you want some red to have with it? Why are you saying good luck? If you can get it out of the cup. I think this one's my favourite. 
Mm. I like the spices in it. It's nice and spicy and something different. Yeah, favorite. Chicken's my second favorite. And then I'm gonna go the broccoli and Stilton. What do you think? Actually, I don't mind this either. No, when you nice. have these soups, have them all together. I don't think we've been disappointed once by Ainsley soups, have we? Yeah, I think they're pretty good. And they don't have that weird fakeness to them. They actually taste like the products they say there are on the cover. Mm. So I like that. This one's too thick though. Mm. Just put more water in it though, and she's good to go. So you can't go past a nice chicken cup of soup. It's like going to an Indian restaurant. But not really. This one takes the flavour away from everything else because it's so strong. Yeah, so it does. If you sip that first and then yeah. sip the others. And then you of... have this, and it sort of cools it down a bit yeah. and gets all cheesy. Agreed. And this refreshes your palate a bit. I don't mind this one, actually. Yeah, so you go back to them, you're like, oh, I don't know, that's a bit... And then you go back to it, and you're like, actually, that's pretty good. I don't mind this one actually. See? Yeah, all pretty good. Would you get them again, Tam? And if so, which one would you get? I'm not really someone who gets cup of soups. You okay. know that. That's probably because I make soups from scratch. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know if I'd necessarily get them if there was no other option and it is a good quick thing to eat. Yeah. Yes. Am I taller than you? you got a long slim body. Sure, little stumpy legs, but really long body. <laughs> I do. <laughs> it's amazing I can walk around. <laughs> um, <laughs> Next up, we are going to try some tunics. That looks familiar. We've had some tunics before, but this one is dark chocolate. Oh, yum. Dark chocolate coated caramel wafer biscuits, and there's eight inside. Now, I do believe that tunics are originally Scottish. Scottish. Does it matter no. where it comes from? Oh, well, no, just telling people out there oh. because you might get some Scottish people saying, excuse me, but. Will your cheeks go red like that? Well, probably. I have got Scottish heritage. Whoa! How beautiful are these bars? I love the wrapping. There's something old ye time and special mm. about this. Dark chocolate. Oh yes. How good does this one look? Crack. The caramel, they're not gonna crack. You don't know. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Have a look at the inside. Yum. Now, I love the milk chocolate ones of these. Will the dark chocolate be good? I love them! Mm. I love the chew on it. Mm -hmm. The caramel between the wafer biscuits just creates that chew. The dark chocolate really complements it. Mm. Love this. Very nice. The flavour in that caramel is just beautiful. It's weird because it's crunchy but and stretchy chewy. and everything at the same time. Yeah. They've got that balance of the caramel and the wafer just perfect. This is a classic and I love the dark ones just as much. My side. Oh! <laughs> well done, Tonics. Love it. Yeah, they deserve a clap. We have some McVitie's. Blissfuls, they're called, and it's Belgian milk chocolate and caramel. We loved these last time, and this one has caramel. Yeah. Oh, yes, they look good. So they're little round biscuits. Beautiful. Yes. They smell nice. Belgian chocolate. Mmm. Oh. <laughs> Nice. How nice would that be with a cup of tea? The biscuit cookie itself is nice and buttery and the texture of it's really nice. And then that chocolate filling, that Belgian chocolate is really quite rich. And then you've got that little bit of caramel as well. It's very nice. I just want to know how do they keep the biscuit mm -hmm. crunchy with a caramel soft center or chocolate soft center? Look at that. It's really luxurious, really tasty. Love it. I mean, oh, what are you doing? Dissecting it. Yeah, it's like that in the bottom. Yeah, put a little chocolate insert. Nutella consistency. Mm, but it's better because it's not mm. Nutella. Mm. Do you like Nutella? Not really. Really? Wow, I thought everyone loved it. Too sweet. But then you like chocolate, so... Well, I don't have that much chocolate, really. I do. You do. But <laughs> I, I love it. <laughs> oh, chocolate biscuit and chicken soup. Does it get any better? Thank you so much, Brian, for sending us all of these things. We really do appreciate it. And if everyone in the comments below could please thank Uncle Brian, because without him, this taste test would not be possible. Have a fantastic week, everyone. We'll see you next time. Bye. Thanks, me pommy, mate. See you, Brian.